Hopeless? Hopeless. Quite the opposite of what we've seen up here. I think that's my nature. What do I, you feel I, I, I lack confidence, but then I gain confidence through making. And what does being out here give you? This gives me this freedom, this large scale open space. And I think that's why boxers were so so opposite and so inhibiting to me to thinking of working in a box because what appeals to me is this never ending huge scale where anything is possible where you can see forever where you can is that critical to your mental health yeah i think i need to that, that anything is possible that you can and I think that the accidental happens in people's lives, and we were talking about this the other day, and um, those things aren't planned, but they can be the best thing that ever happened. If you can't, don't give them time to allow them to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I think, and you can see that, and this is what makes me feel alive, all this sort of... And I love being at the top, where you can just see that 360, that whole world sort of space. So I mean, this is such a personal place to me as well that I, well, I come here at least twice a week with the dog. Well what's coming out of this for me is that you're making in your place the Vaughan will make in her place. Mm. I'm going to do a piece in my place. Yeah. What, and actually, one? And we bring all of that to the project <laughs> actually. about your artwork isn't there because I've watched you sketch so you this painting probably only took an hour and well it's an hour and ten minutes actually yeah, but, it's, but there's it, it's like anything isn't it you know like um, anything that you do it's the amount of prep and thought that goes into it prior it's not just the actual physical no, no. delivery is yeah, it no do you know what I mean? Like mixing the inks, thinking about which inks work, how thick they need to be, what... Do you, do you know what I mean? But, it's sort but of when you make, there's like a little explosion happens. Yeah. And how do you feel about the piece of work? I'm not sure. It would be good to see it on a wall. The bit that I didn't like, the, I'm liking better now. This bit is yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Like that would be, it looked a little bit yeah. lacking and that end was looking better. And you just think, how far can you push it? Should it go further or should you leave it? Or... But anyway, it, it is what it is. But I always thought that it wasn't going to be... About the piece. Yeah, about yeah. the finished artwork. Yeah. It was going to be about the experience of doing such a huge, you know, in the elements yeah. and such a huge piece and what um now would you have done a piece this big if you hadn't been working on the inside project no and is that a direct reaction to Yvonne's work yeah absolutely absolutely that's your creative response that's my yeah yeah epic Um, I think what I wanted to get was confidence. And I don't know why I didn't have any confidence. I still don't know why I lack confidence. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's being an artist, I don't know. But I, when I look back at work, I think, oh wow, I did that. I did that. Mm -hmm. And then I, sometimes, I, somehow I forget that mm -hmm. I, I have this ability. And then I have to, when I remake work, I remember that I am an artist and I can do these things. Mm -hmm. so, it's, um, so I think it was, um, that's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get again confidence. I wanted to raise my profile. I thought it was just a fabulous being involved with the university, an arts council project, and being involved with Pallant House, collaborating with another artist, exchanging our 
I, I mean, Yvonne is very talented in many ways. In um, She's shown me social media like I never knew before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been um, a real experience. One of the things you said that I picked out, and I think in some quotes, is um, I've had to let you into my world. Yeah. Um, and obviously today's a bit extreme, so we've sat. Yeah, sat in my world. Sat in your world. Yeah, but I, it wasn't until the very end that I actually went, hang on, this is a bit weird. <laughs> when you're working with somebody else, and for me, people is my difficulty, mm. um, that there's struggle, there's difficulty, there's frustration, um, and you know, did this work that Deb's loved and re responded really, really well to it, that's helped us make our decisions of what we're going to do mm. to finish the project, mm. but I didn't like what I did, mm. and, and, and I, didn't, I didn't like where it took me, where I was making it. Mm. Um, so I went back to old practice. Yeah. Um, I went back to um, so older practice, kind of, you know, dad was almost alive. You do, you go back to what you know. Yeah. So I went back and, and I went to places that weren't very comfortable. Um, found I was making work in a very similar colour to I, to the stuff that I made um, just when he died. Yeah. And I was looked at it, I went, oh, I hate this. Oh, my God, look what I've made. Both Debs and I, I mean, quite obvious with the concertina, when we're sitting at the mm. two ends of the concertina, she's desperately trying to reach me, mm. and I'm working the snail's pace of the... Mm. <laughs> I went through all of the different things that I know to do to get there. But collaboration has brought that out. Yeah. Um, but both Debs and I have a good... I know, stubbornness is the wrong word. Um, but, but it's uh, sticking to your guns mm. about your own art practice. Um, so that's what I knew I'd end up doing. Mm. And then over the Christmas break after I'd had that kind of realisation and when I talked about it at the townhouse that's when I made this one yeah and that suddenly made a bit more sense and that's when I then started doing the black yeah. and black and white so it sort of moved it on a bit yeah and it? it's it, I had to go all the way back to there to find the connection that to the, the thing that would get Debs and I connected the three of us have sat down and talked openly about personal experience. Mm. And that's the thing. And the trying to understand that and trying to understand somebody else's personal experience and how to be, how to deal with talking openly about things. Every time we meet, there's something very, very strong, open sharing. Mm that comes out. Do you feel the art has enabled that? Because Oh yeah, yeah. If you yeah. if you were put in a room and talk, yeah. just have a conversation, I no, don't it doesn't think work. that would have happened. No. It boils down to people for me. The connections that you have with people. Um, and how fearful that is for me. But equally you get you get lovely things. And you, the art part of part through that mm. has helped make those connections. I wouldn't, God, I wouldn't be able to start any of those conversations. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's to be able to have a conversation without having to start it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we every time we've met, 
Mm. We've had really deep conversations without having to uh, think deeply. Right, when am I going to start that conversation yeah, yeah. about yeah. that thing? Yeah. It'll come out of nowhere. Yeah. And we'll just go, oh, here we are in that bit of conversation. Yeah. a very interesting idea to come in and go right I'm going to be working with somebody else never done that before certainly not in this way um, working with outside in wonderful working with um, being at art university being with these guys wonderful so it's absolutely outside my comfort zone to do this it um, to leave Brighton and travel to Chichester once a week that was absolutely out of my comfort zone to do I continually do things like this because I find a purpose to it. It's something that I won't normally do. I won't, mo won't normally sit and communicate with people about what's going on. But this is my chance to get that connection with people, which I don't do when I'm at home, sitting on my own, doing the work. I think for me, because I've, I've spent my time observing and trying to get the best out of the two artists. So having done that, it's given me an insight into what it means to be an artist actually and how personal that is and how your artwork gets to the core of your being and collaborating with the core of your being in someone else is just so difficult, like so difficult, you know. So I take my hat off to Paul and Debs actually. And I think also the fact that all of us have frailty, we're all human, there's something beneath all of us. We all have our story, I suppose. It, it's either just beneath the surface or it's really at the core of your being. And if you're dragging the core of your being into your art, collaboration in a project like this is, is tough. But actually, that's what you see. You see everyone's frailty. Some conversations are too hard to have, but art allows that in a way that you would least expect. I think I'd worked with the uh, devs before, so I, I think the biggest impact has probably been on my art has been watching Yvonne work because she's so slow and careful and considered and that's sort of the opposite of how I work and I think it's made me want to look at the miniature in things and look at the detail and so I've been doing things like cutting up my paintings looking at the small parts of paintings so I think it will it will affect my practice it's like I said you know art is really personal and it's really difficult to let go of your practice to collaborate with someone and, and you know what is collaboration and and what we're seeing here on this project is it's it's not even it's not about the making of a piece of work together it's actually about how another person's work affects your own and your reaction to it and with this project it's been scale and speed and materials um, Debs's materials are very fluid, they do their own thing, a bit like Debs and Yvonne's are very carefully considered, cut, put together, deliberately marked. And I think um, I think that's been that's been the difference. Yeah. And also mentally all three of us are in different places and, and you know, getting everybody together on the same page is is, is a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the job, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I've enjoyed working with creatives and trying to get performance-wise the best out of them. And I think that's, that's, that's what I'll take away from this, is that my practice, when I applied for the project, was that it was a, a mix of um, coaching, facilitation and actual making of work. And I think just having had this role, it's made me more interested in mental health. Um, it's made me question what can be done through art to help people with mental health issues. 
and also the biggest question for me having having had the opportunity to sit in a room with somebody who's had the same experience as me what is being done for um, children or young adults who lose lose a parent to suicide what is what is being done because nothing you know there's nothing there for me clearly nothing there for Yvonne mm. and actually the impact of that doesn't come till later in life so you know that's a big question for me and I'd like to explore that being in the same room with another person who's had a similar experience and being able to use art to have that really difficult dialogue is such an opportunity mm. if anything's come out of this Arts Council funding it's amazing artwork but also some learnings about mental health and what art can play in that part really so a lot of my work has it's fractured with an edge and it's actually the bits that are blank that I find quite interesting a bit like the things that don't get said in a family argument is that sort of raw truth that I love investigating. So I apply because I'm curious and I'm curious about people and the thought of working intimately with two artists as an observer was sort of a, a, an opportunity just too good to miss. So my expectation is quite open when I started the project, but what I wanted to get out of it was the ability to work with people to get that raw truth. That's something which is just about three people <laughs> could actually have a huge impact because it's a well kind of constructed, it's a well conceived project and it's about real experience and meaningful experience for a small amount of people and how that can impact on a kind of wider understanding. And I think it's wonderful that, that funders in this you know, these kind of straightened times that we're a part of have recognised the value of something quite small, but that, that can be very strong and can be very kind of um, important in the scheme of things.